Welcome back my friend to a new tutorial using Affinity Designer. I'm Joe Silva and today I'm gonna show you how you can create a vector cartoon hand using Affinity Designer. So let's get started. If it's your first time here, I just want to ask you to subscribe, leave it a like and comment here more suggestion about what you want to learn from me the very first step that you need to do that case i will show you well i want to grab a photo from my own hands in order to vectorize okay because if you try to draw by your head it's gonna be difficult i'm going to just point this hand something like that open it how good i will take a screenshot for this now that you got the screenshot let's see how we can develop the vector hands i will show you first i want to apply some filters that's gonna help me to simplify this hand how i usually do that first i go to the adjustments layers then i apply the posterize as you can see the posterize will apply this immediately to make simple i'll leave something like that i'll good perhaps to uh, make it as two don't worry because we need to make this now as black and white and as you can see now you can control and have already a simple way to see a sketch from photo basically this is exactly what we want we want to save your time you know if you don't know how to draw hands so use your hands and you know use this technique in that case what i want to do now it is to group these guys make this with lower opacity lock this layer and let's get started here my friend with the vector this tutorial i want to start first with the paint tool okay i'll apply here the stroke in this color in black the stroke now is gonna have something like seven and then i can start to trace this hands here in that case i'm gonna focus only over the silhouette which means this you see i will focus only in the uh, you know biggest shapes of the silhouette this mass as i have here this mass i will apply this below okay uh, of the sketch good and then i will do here that case the finger don't worry because we are creating just the shapes separated here as well i will create one line that's gonna represent uh this one as well oh look and perhaps four because cartoon hands usually they have three fingers you know uh in the front and the polygon and i will do something like this and now what we, we need to do it is to apply here the compound system you see how that works well the compound system basically is going to merge this shape as you see these two ones if i hide here can you see that what i want that case it is to apply the layer and create a compound because now i can you know move this finger in whatever i want but it's gonna be measured all right this is what i want in that case i will make here right now this rounded squared finger rounded using the corner tool and do this press a because i want to make this more pointed to top like you know <laughs> look like a banana shape but now it's a kind of dynamic this is in purpose we want to make this a kind of you know a bold shape and here is the trick point can you see that we have here this you know uh, bones that is having this uh, kind of wave shapes all right the way that i usually create the vector it's simple because i usually use the node tool to manipulate the nodes in that case i will press a click here over this line so i will have here at least one two three four and five lines and that's why i want to raise some of it like that for example i want to make something like this look here I'll make this rounded this one and rounded as you can see look at the result that i got here we have just created the waves for the hands as you can see and, and then of course i need to match with the the line of the fingers that case i'm missing here just one line that is being applied over here so i'll add a line here and then i'll close the shape I will apply something like this. I will start to apply the white color because you see, I start to see an immediate result from what I want to show you. But first, let me model here, okay, uh, this shape of the silhouette of this hand like that. And then we can start to 
manipulate and move the nodes. I'd say that what's important here in this state it is to manipulate the nodes. So if you don't have drawing skills, I will tell you this. It is totally recommended for you to follow this tutorial because you don't need to have drawing skills to follow this tutorial. You just need to have a mouse and just follow what I'm showing you. And here below, I want to create this shape as you see. And then I will create a line that will do something like this. Can you see that as I created, it's already measured. And then here the compound that I have, I can make this in white right now and boom look at this but of course we need to polish this more there is you know uh, missing some kind of lines here for example here below i need to add a line that creates this shape just like that as you can see i can you know model even more to make this in better quality just like that i'll make this a bit more bold and then now we can model more the fingers because it's it's a, not uh, very complete yet. We need to make this a bit better. I'm just changing here the, the layers from the finger. That case, this one. You can make separated, but as you can see, I've done this in this hand below in just you know uh, one single silhouette and then you start to model the hands as you want i can make this more you know bigger or smaller but as you can see the lines need to follow i can select the node and then convert these two curves and then you need to match the line with it of course here select the node and click here as well to others you can press a select the node and uh, click over the the convert to smart here i also will add this line to be something like that you know a fold area over the, the the hands look at this my friend if you enjoy please leave it a like because you're gonna help me to bring more tutorials like this if you want to learn much more than this video i have a master class that teach you everything about affinity design 2.0 on there i show you how uh, you can use the affinity designer like a real pro you can learn from beginner to a very advanced level so i'll leave here the link on the description below in case that you want to learn much more than this and don't forget my friend to save your project in case that you know a fish crash and you lose hours of your work please save your project go here file and click save as and apply and create hands with john and please uh, take a photo and post in your social media what you are learning with me okay i will be very happy to see you sharing your result over the social medias and now what you can do basically it is to let's say duplicate this compound that we have right here because i want to make a backup i usually do this a lot and i will convert this to curves as you can see now i have a curve in that case i can bring all these lines that i've created as you see i can place this inside of my curve now they are just become one single curve with this technique okay and of course uh, i want to make this a bit more bold i want to raise here these outlines and i want to make this outside because I, I want to make this more cute hands here over these lines i want to also add more width because it's too small and i want to do something like that let me move this and adjust the layers as you can see take a look into this we have just created the, the hands but we're not finished yet all right now it's time to give even more life to our design we're gonna start to create some shadows and how we can do that as you see we have the, the shape the curved one I want to start to insert a few using a bluish color, something like this. Right now, let me try just to see if this color is good. I'm going to remove right now the outline. So I'm going to have something like that. Okay, something like this. And I will select here this shape. Go insert inside in this option here, insert inside. And then I will start to do and apply what? The shadows, simulating a shadows over here. I'll apply this in the layer below to not conflict with the layers that it's below. Let's add here in this area a little bit of the shadows, something like this. If I wonder, hey John, how you are applying the, the shadows? Well, take a look over uh, realistic hands that I have here. So you will see that there are shadows, you know, in many uh, areas here, but it's focused more over the contrast, all right? Focus on the contrast. Make things simple, please. And also I will add here in this area, I'll make something like this and here 
as well i'll add a shadow in this area look at this my friend and also here of course this shape is in white so if i go here it's gonna overlap if i remove the fill it's gonna look like this this is what i don't want i want to make this in fill however i want to apply now the insert inside in order to do this look at it uh, you know insert inside here in this area let me make this in blue first you know the, the pencil tool and then i can do this look at this I can apply and add a shadow. I want to go and add shadows into this area like that. Make this more simplified. Yeah, things like that. The shadow over here. Look at this, my friend. The result that we got so far using this technique. And then what you can do to just to finish this, you can apply a layer effect. Go here in outline. Apply this a bit more bold and make this in white. Now we have a sticker in the cartoon hand as well. Really great. And to export this, it's very simple. Just one single step. Go to the file, click here, export. Keep the layer selected, that the one that you want to export, which is this one. Go here to the PNG. Instead of making whole document, go to the selection only this option here now we can, we can be able to export these hands the cartoony hands with the background transparent in a very nice quality make sure to export something more than 1500 so you're gonna have a very you know big size with high density of pixel and then you are ready to go my friend i want to thank you so much for your time watching this video leave the like Comment here if you want to learn much more. And I just want to invite you to join into my courses, the Vectorize Club, the Masterclass for Affinity 2.0. On there, you can learn much more than this video. This video is just, you know, a little video that I'm doing for free for you in order to help you guys to learn uh, the things that you can do with Affinity and alongside with me. Well, thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.